All right, we're now going to look at some ways to run the macros in your workbook. So the first thing I'm going to do is open my uh, my first macro workbook here. You'll see this is a .xlsm file, so that lets you know that it probably contains some macros. And if it does, when you open the file, you'll first get this warning message showing you uh, that there's macros in the workbook. And it'll ask you to enable the macros or disable the macros. So you'll always have to click enable macros if you want to run any of the macros in the workbook. And your users will have to do this as well. Now there's security settings that will allow you to bypass this and basically enable uh, macros if the workbook is stored in a certain location or something like that. But typically, you'll want to let your users know that they're going to need to enable the macros if they're going to run the macros in this workbook. OK, so we're now going to look at some different ways to run the macros in this workbook. If I hit Alt F11 on the keyboard, that'll bring up the VB editor. And you can see here this workbook has a bunch of different code modules in it. And there's a lot of different macros within those code modules. So in the previous video, I spoke about a few ways to do it from the VB editor. Uh, you can hit F8 on the keyboard, and that'll basically step through the code. You could also hit F5 or the Run button right here, and that will run the macro. But typically, you'll want to run the macro from the workbook and not necessarily from the VB editor. So let's look at some ways to do that. So Alt F11 will jump me back to Excel. The first way to view the macros is on the View tab of the ribbon. So if you go to the View tab of the ribbon, over here on the right side, there's a macros section with this uh, split button. And the top part will just bring up the View Macros window. So I can just click the top half of this button, and that's going to bring up the macro window here. And then on the bottom half of that button, there's some options to record the macro as well. So that's another place you can record the macro and turn this uh, relative references toggle on. You'll also notice when I hover the top of this button here that it shows the keyboard shortcut Alt F8. So Alt Alt F8 is the keyboard shortcut to open this window here. And from here, you can run the macro. So you can select any macro if we wanted to run this macro here that just shows this hello message and click the run button. And that's just going to say hello with the username. And in this case, it's my name. So that's one way to do it. You can also step into the macros directly. That'd be like pressing F8 on the keyboard. And you can also jump in and edit them. So if I hit step into, that's going to then start me at the first line of the macro. And I can continue to hit F8 on the keyboard to step through it. Or I can hit F5 to run it all together. The other thing you can do in this window is you can uh, change some of the options. You can edit the macro, and you can also change the options for the macro. So you can assign a keyboard shortcut to it, and you could also uh, put a description in here for the macro. So there's a few other options within the macro window. And one other important thing to note is this is currently displaying a list of all the macros in this workbook here. So you can choose uh, basically macros in this workbook, in all open workbooks, and or you could choose a different workbook that you have open. This would be a list of all the workbooks that are currently open on the computer. However, if you're running a macro from a different workbook, that workbook will have to be open before you can run the macro. So if we're going to assign a button and create some buttons and then assign macros to those. But if you assign a macro to uh, or assign a button to a macro in a different workbook, that workbook would have to be open before the macro could run. So that's one caveat and one important thing to note. Okay, so another way to run a macro is by uh, creating a button and then assigning a macro to it. So there's a few different ways to do that. You can go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, and then you can insert a shape. In this case, we could just insert this rectangular shape here. And you could put some text in here. And uh, then if you right-click on this uh, shape, there's an Assign Macro option. That'll br basically bring up a similar window where you can choose from the macros. Again, we're in this workbook here, and these are all the macros. So if I want to assign my hello message macro to this button, I just select it and press OK. And now when I s click this button, that'll bring up uh, or basically run that macro, which just uh, shows this message box here. You can also insert buttons, uh, more like control type buttons, from the uh, Developer tab. So the Developer tab here, uh, go to the Insert, and then Form Controls. And there's a button control right here. And basically, that'll allow you to draw a button. And then this uh, will prompt you to assign a macro. So again, I'm just going to assign my Hello Message. Click OK. And now this looks more like a button. It's a form control. It looks more like a button. And same thing happens when you click on it. It just runs that macro. 
There's a few other options for running macros uh, within the VB editor. You can go to the immediate window. If you don't see the immediate window, just press control G and you can just type the name of the macro down here. So in this case, the hello message, I'm just going to copy and paste it. And now if I hit enter, that'll run the macro. So that's another way to run it. You could see the message box popped up here. You could just run it directly from the immediate window. You can also run it from events. So you know, on the this workbook, if you double click this workbook, which is inside any uh, Excel workbook, there's a this workbook object within the uh, worksheets folder, or the Excel objects folder. Here you can basically create events for the workbook itself. And on the right side in this procedure drop down here, there's all types of different events that will trigger a macro. So in this case, this sheet activate event will basically uh, trigger the macro or fire any code that's with inside this uh, event or this macro here when the uh, worksheet is activated. So when a worksheet is activated or the user selects a worksheet. This one here will run when the workbook is opened and the user enables the macros. That'll run whatever code is there inside the workbook open event. So you can also use events uh, to run macros and that's a more of an advanced topic and we'll get more into that later in the course. So as you can see, there's a ton of different ways to run macros. Uh, the most common are probably putting buttons on the spreadsheet and allowing the user to just press the buttons to run the macro. But there's plenty of different ways to do it. So hopefully that helps give you an overview of some of the different ways to run a macro.